Yeah, I guess just thoughts on the game tonight. Yeah, just beaten all over the park, obviously, you know, by the Roosters tonight. They beat us in pretty much every area of the game, and it showed. Are there any positive takeaways? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I guess when Tedesco's up and playing like that, what's your plan as a coach? How do you respond? Yeah, stop, stop it or have numbers around him and just like we've done all week. You now we're getting the week right. We're identifying it, we're, we're doing all the right things and then um, you know, clearly going wrong once we're out there and, and under pressure and, and we're on the back foot from the start tonight and we never changed it. We were, you know, and that's uh, really, really disappointing. You know, we've made a lot of inroads after last week. We put up a real good show and, and um, then we slipped right back tonight. And uh, yeah, Collectively, um, and we've let ourselves down. Yeah, and I guess where's the biggest area of improvement for you guys moving forward? Oh, tonight everywhere. You know, we were narrowing it down to, you know, just winning key moments in games and things like that over the last sort of seven or eight rounds. And tonight we got beaten everywhere on attitude, on effort and execution and yeah. Yeah, Dragons next week, what's, what's your focus with them? Yeah, well focus is on ourselves, you know, we've got to get ourselves right and um, we obviously need some personnel changes um, and that's a, that's a difficult part when you're not winning, you have to make changes and then you lose your cohesion amongst your side, you know, but that's just, we can't, um, we can't accept, you know, what we dissed up tonight. Yeah, and I guess your view from being out there, what was going wrong on the field? Ah, it's just not working hard enough. And I think all over across the park, including myself, when, when you have a good look at myself and, you know, individuals need to too, and we just need to get it right for next week because, you know, we take a step forward last week, you know, even though we didn't get the win, you know, there was improvements, but this year we take 10 back, you know, very bad and, yeah, there's no positives out of that. I, just guess that the only positive that there's a footy next week, and then we can work on it during the week and make sure we come back. And just noticing that the chip and chase game seemed to cause the Roosters a little bit of trouble there for, for a while. Was that, were you guys talking about that? Ah, uh, chip and chase. The grubber kick, sorry, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think um, obviously close to the line. Um, you know, we want to repeat set on that, you know, we aim to get that, and but um, yeah, it's not a focus. During the week, you know, we've got to be able to hold the ball and get there before we start thinking about chip chases and grubbers. There was a glimmer of hope after the first half. Uh, a lot of pressure on their Roosters try line. Uh, what was said at halftime? Um, yeah, I just think go back to basics and it was just simple. Just they came in and just said, you know, the game's there, we've got to go after it. And I thought, you know, our bench rockies, Herman SES and Sam Masson were really good for that. They sort of got us back on track and then. Like I said before, myself and a couple of other boys in the middle there, we let the team down a bit and we just got to make sure that, you know, we regroup here and go again next week. Thanks, guys.